Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. Today's tutorial is construct part two of the constructors tutorials. So I'm going to open up my website here to javacjava.com I'm going to click on actually the little menu button here or, and uh, select Java OOP Tutorials. And we'll come down here to Constructors Part 2. So in this tutorial, I'll be adding some parameters to a constructor declaration. Once I add parameters to the constructor, it is going to look very similar to a method declaration. The only difference between a constructor declaration and a method declaration is that the method declaration requires a return type. A constructor cannot have a return type. Let's go ahead and go down here, highlight this code, control C to copy, or right click and select copy. I'm going to move the browser off screen, start search, type in CMD, if you're running Windows 7 or earlier, go to start run, type in CMD, then I'll type in Java C and press enter. You should see a whole bunch of stuff like this scroll by. If you get an error message, go and watch my tutorial on um, installing a Java development kit. You're going to want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before you run these tutorials. CLS cleared the screen, cd backslash, cd is short for change directory, backslash told it to go to the root. I'll make a directory called Java. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. And then we'll make another directory here called um, instructor2. Um, and then change that, and then notepad instructor2. Java. Control V to paste. Let's go ahead and save this here. Um, so in the class box, right, I've got my three private instance variables, length, height, and width, right? And then um, down here I got a method declaration inside of my box class called calculate volume, which will return the, the volume of, of the box, length times height times width. Now in the constructor here, um, I've added in a parameter list here, um, int length param, int height param, int width param. And when the box class is instantiated and it creates a box object, the constructor will be called and we have to pass it these parameters in order for it to, you know, compile properly, run properly too as well. Um, we can basically set length equal to length param, and height equal to height param, and width equal to width param, right when we're just basically um, creating the object there. Now in constructor2, which is the um, class that contains the main method entry point here, right, I'm creating a, I'm declaring a new box data type variable b, I'm using the assignment operator to assign um, the return reference that the new operator creates when it um, instantiates and initiates, initializes the box object. And this, this specifically is the box um, constructor right here, right? And you can see the arguments have to match the parameters. So, then we'll just go ahead and display to the console the volume of our box is, and then B dot calculate volume. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that out here. Clear our screen, compile it, run it. Strip that off, there we go. Okay, so the volume of our box is 100. All right, so if, you, if you've been uh, keeping up with my previous tutorials, you should recall that we can set and get instance variables using setter and getter methods. You know, by adding uh, parameters to the constructor, we can assign values to the instance variables as the object is created. So it's almost like shorthand for, you know, doing the getter and setters, right? You know, if we had, uh, you know, setter down here would be like um, void set height, right?
right so instead of having to come up here and say like you know um, b equals or let's see uh, b dot set height and we passed it something like 17 right then um, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and run this here, right? So you can see this will actually, even though our constructor initially set this values, the setter method of set height, right, um, is going to go ahead and change our, our ultimate result when we display the volume there. So now our volume over box is 170, okay? So, yeah, so basically we don't need these getter and setter methods if we're initializing the um, instance variables using parameters in the box constructor, right? So that's basically just kind of kind of about it for this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and save this out here. And I'm going to go ahead and um, Yeah, for my final thoughts, basically I just want to reiterate that the only difference between a constructor declaration and a method declaration is that the method declaration requires a return type, okay? If I accidentally put something in here like a void, right, I just changed my constructor to a method, right? And that is the only difference. So um, I'll just, I'll show you this here, right? I'm going to go ahead and... So we're going to get an error, right? Because constructor box and class box cannot be applied to the given types, right? No arguments, and we're passing it int, 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 and it's basically telling us that it, it differs in length. And that's because there is no longer um, a box constructor that we've defined. And that's my next tutorial, I'll be talking about a box the default box constructor that come that gets created even when we don't specifically specify it here, right? So in this particular case there, if we do that, it's happy, right? And then we would have to do something like uh, b.box, right? Now we're calling it as a method. Let's put some nice little spacing in there. And then that would be all happy there. So, see the volume of our box is 100. So that is the only difference between a method and a constructor when you're doing that. And, and by the way, you know, a constructor has to have the same name as the class box, but you can do something really stupid like this and call the, um, a, or declare a method the same name as the class that it's inside just creates really kind of some additional confusion. You may actually do it on accident um, time or two, but just to, just to kind of give you a heads up on something that's probably, I don't know, I could say probably could be a little bit designed a little better to eliminate confusion on that sort of stuff. But now that we've put that back to there, we can go ahead and take this back out and put in our, our let's put our arguments back in here. And now we're passing the arguments of 5, 10, and 2, and those will be received by the parameters length, param, height, param, and width, param. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Run that, and we're good to go again. So just, just remember, a constructor cannot have a return type. The second we add a return type here, it becomes a method, and that is the only difference in the, in the declaration. Um, of the two different things. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, close out of that, and that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.